You don't need a clock to know what time it is. YouTube, it's your boy Reggie Reg. You don't need a clock to know what time it is. So I was minding my business one day playing the PS4. My roommate happened to bust in my room all crazy, knocking the door down, TV over, talking about they got some new pop tarts, some red velvets. I say they better be this good, you destroying my room like that. So this is what the box looked like, nothing crazy. As you can see, of course the red velvet cupcake in the corner, only right to represent the red velvet pop tart. This is what your pop tart cover looks like. Usually back in the day, when I was coming up as a child, this is what it looked like, plain as day. But as you can see, it has a lot of art on it now. It kind of reminds me of Birdman's neck. You know, the tattoos he got going on. Things in that nature. This is what the pop tar looks like. That red is like a, it's like a brick red. The white frosting. It got some pink, pink rock glittery a lot going on on top of that frosting I'm not sure how to define that this is the first time I've been stomped and I'm not ashamed to admit it but I have no comparison for that frosting it's just very unique as a pop tart frosting for you let's get into it okay let's break this off now if anybody plans on keeping their outfit clean for the day I don't suggest you breaking the pop top off on top of your clothing because I have a mess on my pants now. Let's do it. Now one thing Pop-Tart needs to explain on the cover of the box is if you don't have... Somebody always get hurt around here. Catalogs need to explain to the public on the cover of the Pop-Tart box is unless you have a cup of milk, a little jug of milk, or a bottle of water, or whatever you prefer to drink with this Pop-Tart, it is a choke hazard. It will attack your esophagus. The air that you're used to inhaling and exhaling will become thinner and thinner until you are overwhelmed with suffocation. If you ever had the chocolate chip Pop-Tart, the s'mores Pop-Tart, the peanut butter and jelly Pop-Tart, they have not failed to amaze me to execute the flavor in the pop tart of what it's supposed to taste like. This tastes like a red velvet cupcake mushed down, flattened, took in a wrapper off, and put aside a silver wrapper. This is good. On the scale of the Payless to Jordans, we're gonna call these pop tarts the Raging Bull Fives. Now, what those are are a pair of immaculate sneakers, okay? But once those sneakers get wet, it loses that texture of red that it comes with. It becomes real ashy, real tacky, real unprofessional, unappealing. It becomes one of those sneakers you wear to work, you wear when you're doing yard work. You know, it becomes something of the past once that red loses its value. This Pop-Tart is almost immaculate. But unfortunately, for the choke factor, for the strength that you have to have something to drink, like these Pop-Tarts need to come with something to drink. Yeah, I need to put a little, a little quarter water size of milk in here. It comes with the Pop-Tart. Because if you don't, I would hope somebody next to you knows the Heimlich Maneuver to save your life. Because if you don't, if they don't know it, your face is going to be about as red as this Pop-Tart. But other than that, you're good to go. So thanks for rocking out with your boy Reggie Reg. I kind of feel bad I didn't bring a food review to the table. So this Saturday, I will be dropping a food review for you. I'm not sure what, but just know something will be in this car and being filmed and being processed and brought to y'all because I love y'all. Y'all give me something to do when I'm bored. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, it's your boy Reggie Reg, and I'm signing out.